Hello, everybody. Welcome back to All the Nerds. This is the All the Nerds podcast coming at you. I got me, myself. I got Gibbs. I got Le- Levi down there. It's the three. It's the three boys back at it again. Um, this Number is episode 70. 70. Seven zero. Seven zero. Seven zero. It's getting old. We're, almost, we're, uh, we're getting. Old. We're getting. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe. Die, uh, early signs well. of dementia. Who knows? I soon. I hope life expectancy is like life so expectancy is well, yeah, but you know, this <laughs> Ellen, is, well, you know, as long as there's Star Wars coming out, I think we'll be <laughs> yeah, okay. it keeps us alive. Yes, it that's literally. Yeah. I'm gonna be like Palpatine, like fucking tubes pumping into the back of my spine. Literally, yeah, <laughs> resurrecting. No, I need to see that as an image. That'd be a good, be a good. Image. I need his like his like mech crane that he's uh yeah, the mech yeah. yeah yeah yeah. All right, but, um. So yeah, we got lots lots to talk about. We haven't really done like a n- news or like we haven't really. I feel like we haven't really talked about the up to date stuff. So we'll definitely talk about some yeah. news. There's certainly a lot of it. Um, yeah, Wakanda forever though. Come on. Obviously, yeah, Wakanda forever just came out, so we're definitely gonna talk about that. But first, I wanted to just do top of the show. We'll just just a, a, a quick minute. Um, so uh, Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman, passed away. The now, voice of Batman. Two days ago. Like the voice, voice of Batman. The, the goat. There is no the other goat. Batman. Uh, this like this was a death that really, really like, kind of hit me, hit me hard. I I have been a diehard fan of the animated series since I was very little. Um, and I've met Kevin before. Super nice guy. Um, I met In him last Arkham year. Games. Yeah, Arkham Games animated series. A lot of the um direct to DVD movies and yeah, I think, streaming movies. I think he's, he done like five hundred something. He's done. He has done. Is Batman. He's literally. He literally is Batman. Like literally. Like it. He he has played Batman. I think the longest at this point. If you, not counting Michael Keaton because he technically hasn't been in. No, he's not. Well, he's he not Batman yet. yet. And then so they technically, replaced him. So and then they replaced him as. Never replaced Batman him with. So he's lost. Batman. He's lost. He's lost in time. But technically, it's Kevin. But um. Yeah, I just wanted to just wanted to shout it out. I mean, I, we're all we're all big fans here, so um, it was very very sad hearing about that. That that one that one was definitely a, a tough a tough one. I've seen a lot of clips floating around on social media. Yeah, um, but like, yeah, Go Mark Hamill is is the Joker, and the Kevin Joker Conner was was the Batman. And any, I've seen a lot of their their scenes uh, together and mm. all that stuff. And yeah, I don't know. I also we uh, maybe maybe you'll maybe you'll watch some more of that more of that. Uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to catch up on the animated series. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, for some, maybe we should do something. I am Vengeance. Hmm. I am I, I am Batman. I am Batman. I am Batman. So rest um, in peace, Kevin. Uh, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Um, shout Very out to the go. Real. Um, yeah, we uh, may be talking about it uh, again real soon. But uh, it's, yeah, it's yeah. I don't know what they're to, to briefly shout out to him. Like, what do you think they're going to do with the new animated series? Because I imagine that he would have been Batman. He would have been absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, um, I I saw something that said otherwise, and oh, actually, really? uh, it's from a it's from a guy who, like is, I'm not gonna say who. Uh, he 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 like has his report on stuff. It, it, again, it's a rumor. Um, but apparently, uh, they're going with a younger actor for Batman. I don't know who it is, but apparently, Kevin was gonna play, um, uh, Thomas Wayne. Well, I will uh, just say. Arkham Origins, my favorite of all the Arkham games, was not Kevin Troy Conroy. Baker. Oh, no, that's, it was, was Troy. Roger Craig Smith. No, Roger Craig Smith, yeah. Troy Baker did. Troy Baker's Joker. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, which, fantastic outings from both of them. Um, You know, yeah, you, you, you sure. can't beat Conroy, but I would like to see Roger Craig Conroy, continue. Conroy just like, I don't know, dude, like, he just, he could hit every, like, emotion that Batman can, like, have, like, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. Like, it's just so perfectly. I don't Arkham know. Origins underrated. Oh, perfect. Arkham Origins, Arkham Origins so. also. Not underrated. anymore, though. I watch a lot of Arkham, like, you. I'm in the Arkham YouTube, uh, like, area a lot. <laughs> yeah. A lot of YouTubers. I, Arkham uh, Origins Deathstroke? Oh, there. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, like it is cool. no longer an underrated, like, it's like Revenge of the Sith. Like, no one. Uh, underrated masterpiece. No one's ever said that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, say, no, yeah. no one hates on it anymore. It's been it's said. It's actually good. It's been like, said. People it's... like Origins now. Yeah. But, but uh, I will say, so Kevin, it, it, it's kind of interesting. Um, but Ke- Kevin's last performance as Batman is in um, that game, Multiverses, the one where it's like the Smash Bros, but it's like <laughs> yeah. one of those characters. That's his last performance. Um, well, I'm sure besides, I mean, besides, it's reportedly order, in, yeah, in yeah, Gotham. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's some unreleased stuff. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that is, I think, rumored is for 
the new Batman show. If that comes out, hopefully it does. I hope to God that show comes out. Just on a quick, anyways, that's a bit about on Batman. A quick, on a quick, really quick voice actor note, because obviously, mm. um, less tragic but still sad is Tom Kane uh, retired mm. from voice acting. Yeah, uh, sure. yeah that's And true. I, I just wonder what they're gonna do with Yoda and like the Clone Wars voice yeah. going forward, because Tom Kane did so much for so Star much. Wars, and that just got me thinking about like. Because in Tales of the Jedi, I bet you Yoda would have. Did had Yoda a line. have a line in Tales of the not Jedi? Sing, not a single, did not one. single line. Yeah. Because yeah. you know Tom Kane is Yoda, so I, I just wonder what they're going to do with stuff like that. It's always a shame when voice actors uh, are unable to work anymore, just because they are yeah. so. We we think about the characters just like with Batman, but once they're gone, you realize how much it's the voice that really oh, yeah. puts voice the life. carries. I mean, Kevin carries yeah. the yeah. It really puts the life into it and performance. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just re- re- you said rest in peace. Mm. Um, before we get into Anyways. Wakanda Forever, though, which I Oof. think we do want to review, I did want yes. to get Gibbs's opinion on the most recent episode of Andor because he was not around. Oh, it's true. Oh, it that's right. The voice you missed the stream. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh... Um, what do you think about it? <laughs> I, take oh, yeah. that, I take that you liked uh, it a yeah, lot. Um, um, like it. We, it we like good. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, best episode yet. Um, yes. Potentially. Yeah. Um, I, don't know, yes. I don't I don't I still don't know where it ranks for me. This is my favorite episode yet, followed good. by seven. But fair come enough. On, come on, this episode yeah. just it, top it, to bottom, so just, good. Just Kino, come on, and Luthen too, and Luthen. Yeah, Luthen. both. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't want to get negative. But I'm gonna get negative. Like Kino, Andy Circus character gets more development in these three episodes than like. 95% of sequel characters. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, is it no, true? No, uh, no, I can neither no. confirm nor deny. 95% ain't no way. Let's say 70%. Come on. No way. What? Yes, better. Okay, whatever. I don't want to get negative. I just I don't want to get negative. I don't want to get negative, but everybody essentially sequels. <laughs> no, no, I just want to praise Andor because yeah, it's, it's Andor it's, is it's damn so good. great. And like, the best. I, I've been talking to a lot of my friends who aren't as into Star Wars, and they're all like, "This is the greatest thing yeah. I've seen." Like, no, it's like it's like out. it's like Bill it's one like Bill Burr out. level of good. It's like Mayfield. <laughs> sure, yeah, that's a good way to put it. I will say, uh, like, ben if Migs is in the show, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Ooh, can you imagine? Oh, that'd be it'd, so be imper- it'd be Imperial Migs. It'd be Imperial know, Migs too. Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> That is an idea, if we uh, ever, Johnny. If we ever get our, uh, if, if we ever work on that Operation Cinder thing more, because that when Migs, Migs, that's when Migs leaves. Oh, we gotta, we gotta make right. Migs, you know? True, true. I um, we, oh my god, what's it? What, what's it called? Um, ben, I came did across you get... that that document the other day in the uh, on your drive? My idea, yeah. my pitch, the idea. Uh, one, of pitch. My pitch, one of my many pitches. One of my many pitches. Anyway, well, did you did uh, yeah. you Anyways. did you get emotional? Because I did when Keenan are we going says, in? Says I, he can't oh, oh. swim. That, that yes is, yeah well yeah, i mean yeah. was, like tough. i was not anticipating the first it, time i watched it maybe not the bit like i was with a bunch of guys and you know we were i don't know it wasn't like yeah, we weren't, not like, yeah super yeah. engaged so Group maybe but, like even like it it broke through that like couch watch party like even then i was like yeah i got a little emotional yeah it's i don't like know the, it's like the way he, he got so it. far and it's like that's so far and then he couldn't swim yeah it's, it's, Although, it's I, was like, like, I was like they really couldn't have like grouped up like grouped up and like that's how you drown dude that's how I get. Do. I know, but if they had enough men, I don't know. I wasn't that kind it was of situation. Just, it was a moment of panic. Everyone's jumping. I know it was. Freedom. I know it was. I know it was. Yeah. I don't know. It's just uh, tragic. And it yeah, recontextualizing right. his speech, wish... like when I watched the episode again, of like he, I think he knows. I just that have he hope for him. Out. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, oh, yeah, I think no. Time. I think he knows from the beginning. He knows he's gonna have to swim. Like, yeah, it's just it's it's tragic. The whole it thing is tragic. Is but so sad. yeah, just his his speech, you know, up there on the deck, and then Luthen, like, come on, that scene, everything, the chorus on underground, so awesome. Um, I wish we could talk about this the entire podcast because I, I didn't yeah. get to talk about it with you guys. Well, but yeah, we, we can talk about. We have Wakanda to talk about. Wednesday, I just Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, I'm ready to get into that because apparently we got some disagreements on yeah, the panel well, okay. today. Everybody, so let's just, everyone just want to give it from uh, there. Yeah. yeah, 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 sure. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, I, 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 oh, you're. I, I, I got two. I, I give it two. I'll give it two. I give it two. I give it two. I, two give, I didn't even know two was a thing. I, I'm in. I'm making it a thing. Johnny Johnny was going like this in our chat. He was like, nah, nah. Yeah, you were like, no, I, I'm mid. I'm mid. I'm mid. I'm mid. I'm mid. I'm settling so, on mid for my first yeah, watch. I need to watch it again. I need so, to watch it. I'll Johnny saw that. it first on Thursday night. Gives us the yep. bad review. Levi saw it <laughs> Saturday. Saturday, Saturday morning. It yeah. wasn't Saturday. a okay. 
morning. Mm-hmm. You, you it wasn't about me. I didn't, came out I didn't like I'm. You came in like I didn't right. like that. I'll, do you want me to start? I'll start. No, let me finish it. Yeah, let's okay, go. Okay, 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 okay. Finish what you have to say. So you get so I get a bad review from Johnny. Debatable, but it felt bad to me. Levi comes in and says, "Great on par with the first one." So I'm like, I don't know where I'm going to end up. I'm usually somewhere in between these guys. Um, so I saw it this morning or this afternoon. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, Johnny uh, is wrong. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> and we're going to get into that a little bit, I think. We'll get into it. But yeah, um, fine, Johnny. T- kick us off. Kick us off. So we can think of all the things that we can Well, actually, so I actually kind of want to go back to what I said because I want to see. You, I feel right you, yeah, you gave some pretty negative some negative vibes. I don't think that would save. Oh, the I chat. didn't save it. Oh, yeah, I didn't save we just came um, in to see you. Like, anyways, you just I'll, I'll, like I'll give my. I'll give my. So, so I mean, obviously, so this is like my most hyped Marvel movie. I think for it has been for a while. Besides Knowing Home, obviously. So for the for the year, I'll say. Um, I I really I like I I you know obviously we're all excited about it, but I really thought that this was going to be the one for me because I've been so mid on Marvel, and I really thought this one was going to like. Be a step up and i'm not saying it wasn't but for me i just like i it didn't i i was it didn't it didn't really meet it kind of just like didn't really meet my expectations i don't know i i think I well that's a, a that's maybe a good way to contextualize your opinion how do you play yeah. against the other phase four ones yeah i i, I think I, I think i was just i had a lot of expectations for it and didn't fully meet that although there are absolutely things to like about this movie but there's a lot of things that i kind of got confused about just kind of the overall message of the film i was a little like shaky on um i think some of the <laughs> yeah. pacing you get i i don't know i really do i the, i think the pacing was odd in some points um some of the so again some of the cgi i mainly the backgrounds on the blue screen some of it looked really really bad um yeah i don't know i just um i was kind of i'm just kind of mid on it i don't know i, I definitely want to give it a rewatch um but i'm just kind of full kind spoilers of by it. the way i think i think yeah. oh spoilers. yeah i think that yeah Spoilers. Yeah, full spoilers. We haven't gotten um, into them. The, well, the, Johnny, sto- the, wanna... the story beats just like I don't know. It didn't. I want to hear emotional beats didn't hit for me. What I asked I you know. was like I want to hear how you compare this to the other Phase Four movies. Like how does it how does it stack up against those? Because you said you were just I, I like really... for I think for Ben and I this is like way above. Yeah, this is the other leagues stuff. above. But like I wouldn't say leagues above. I definitely put it on like the upper echelon of a Phase Four movies for sure, or Phase Four just projects in general for sure. Like is Thor or Doc Strange like a bug? Like well, I, I, I didn't really like Thor, so I, I mean, yeah, I guess I put it on par with with Doctor Strange. But in my opinion, you guys are much higher on it than I am. I'm kind of mid. I haven't been overly impressed this year. I don't know in general. I don't no, know, and I think a lot of maybe people it's just me. That. I don't know. No, no, oh, no, no, no. It's not just me. And, and uh, like to some extent, I've been feeling that more so. Just I, I, I really enjoy Doctor Strange and Thor, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. maybe like. I just I don't, something felt a little different just going to the theater. Like I don't know, just didn't like quite feel like the classic like, MCU like movie experience. Yeah, so, like for instance, that, like, well, oh go ahead. But I, so I also wanted this to be the movie. You mm-hmm. know, the end of Phase Four. We're going into Phase Five. Like, you know, it's, yeah, it's, end of Phase Four. Deal. This is it. And, and this movie was absolutely that. Like I was blown away. Like this is like absolutely a return to form for Marvel. Uh, best movie they've made. And to me, ends like, the phase since, since Endgame. Like, yeah, oh, absolutely. I don't. I don't disagree with game. that. I had to think about it, but well, absolutely I mean, best. Okay. And Obviously, actually, I think this is a better movie than Endgame. This is a better movie than Endgame. Ooh, as, as far as I don't, movie I don't, game. I don't hate that take. Yeah, really? as, far, I, I, as far as a film, like, I mean, is, I say, wait, I say really that. I'm looking film. at my list. I have it above Endgame on my list. Yeah, on my this is a really great film, guys. I don't. It was a really great film. I certainly think so. I, I would not I would not put it there personally, but I, res- I respect so, so, it. I so far, so far, we're keeping it non spoilery So I'll con- I'll, yeah. con- I'll I'll continue it in yeah, that in that vein of of the, our my immediate take. So with Doctor Strange, for with a lot of the Phase Four stuff, a lot of Marvel stuff in general. With me, mm-hmm. I'm I'm I am guilty of this just as much as any other any other pundit or critic. You will often hear the line, "It feels like a comic book, mo- like comic book, like the pages brought to life." Sure. This did not feel like that. No. This felt like a movie. This felt like a film, and more than anything, it felt like a sequel to the Black Panther, the first one. So much of that movie, absolutely, like the threads, just like lines of dialogue, just stuff that you would like if you hadn't seen Black Panther in a while. I, I don't think you would like pick up on some of this stuff. Like, I, luckily, I watched it right before, and I was able to. I, I should I should have done that. It, it, yeah, it, no, it was like it true. is it is a direct sequel to that movie, and a lot of beats in it, and and including like, um, stuff from 
you know, Infinity War, Endgame, Civil War, obviously, the, all the stuff that Black Panther and Wakanda have appeared in, yeah. are, it's all just tied in. And it's not really like another puzzle piece of the MCU so much as it is a, what it is though. I mean, it, it is, like, it's good. And it, it, like the ending, like the post credit scene, the mid credit scene to this movie puts such a good, to me, like period on the end of phase four that it, it this the end credit scene continues a trend of of the movies of what they're doing to set up something for phase five that I think- sure there's a through line throughout this phase this is a setup phase um, yeah I, I yeah i just part of the movie felt like set up for that mid, mid credit scene to me no see like, I, I, I would disagree with you there like I, I feel like most people are expecting like i don't because you had val throughout the movie fantastic choice in awesome. my opinion like like of really? course he's gonna i, I hate yeah. her inclu- in, inclusion really i thought like I thought the, the really... raw stuff the raw stuff was awful oh yeah, okay. I don't. I, I don't yeah, understand that, that take at all. What did um, he do? Nothing. He did not serve the well, plot in any way. I would really that recommend one time where he kind of gave information. But you I think you should watch the first where movie where again. Riri was. Don't forget, then, like his relationship to the the Wakandans. Wakandans. The first movie. He, he's a big deal. So of course he had to be in this. And I, mean, of course, they, I know. I feel like he had. I feel like he had nothing to do. But as I was saying, though, like if you're talking about the whole movie being a service to the mid credit scenes, no, I said I mean parts of the movie. I would. In what way? Like they don't. They don't. No, I'm getting to spoiler territory now. They, they don't. I feel like they kind of T'Challa having a kid at any point in the movie. They do a little bit, a tiny bit. What specifically? So on the beach, she, uh... on the beach. Well, no, on the beach when Shuri and um, Ramonda are talking, she says when she's she's about to tell her about something T'Challa did. When oh, okay, you're right, yeah, you're right. I did forget about that scene. And then and then she goes to visit her in Haiti, and there's like to me there was some implication of like there's something else going on here. Yeah, no. Um, maybe, but like to me, though, to say that the didn't... whole movie. Was yeah, but to me, it didn't, it didn't take scene. away. Yeah, it didn't take away from, or me. even parts of it. I, I don't know. It didn't take away at all. But what anyway, I'm saying is that with Val yeah. in there, like you're expe- you're expecting some like I don't know, some big like team up or like a bunch of cameos. Well, I mean, but that's that's what I was. You didn't get that. It doesn't it's, feel. It's it doesn't feel. No, yeah, it doesn't not, feel like a cog. Where my head went with that. It doesn't feel like know. a cog in the MCU machine, and yet at the same time, it totally adds a lot to the to the ongoing story like yeah. val being now the director of the cia like that's her stepping up like you, you see her in you know the end of uh black widow you see her in captain america falcon and winter soldier yeah. um you know what she's doing she's like clearly there's there's pieces moving here and then at the end you know we're talking about the mid credit scene nakia and t'challa had a son you know the prince t'challa now t'challa jr is mm-hmm. clearly set up as another one of these young avengers who are being clearly established throughout phase yeah. four um like to me that is like the perfect like and here's the next generation. That is what this phase has been about. Not only setting up the villains like Kang, uh, but also in the in the quantum and stuff, and you know, opening the multiverse. But also mm-hmm. establishing there is going to be this new generation as they pass the torch from your Thor, Iron Man, and and Captain America onto this new uh, yeah. new generation. And this is all I'm talking about right now is like the MCU implications. That's not really talking about at all what happened in this movie between no, you know, Kalakan and that. Wakanda yeah, and all that stuff was amazing. Like the plot of this movie was about grief and about how to how to deal with grief and oh my god i was over the moon with I was, yeah what this, what well, this movie I, is doing i liked what you said about this Vengeance. movie being a good sequel because my, my like first thought coming out of the theater was that if if we get a, of a you know if we get another home run on black panther 3 which is you know almost inevitably going to happen at some point down the line talk about best trilogy material talk about best trilogy absolutely i mean yeah. it is completely primed i would say this is the best two movie outing that anything has yeah. really had besides maybe captain america i think maybe guardians too guardians maybe, yeah, I, yeah yeah it's true Gar- I, I don't know i just this felt like the empire of like black panther it really did oh, me. let me give you an example of what i'm talking about though like when okoya fails to protect shuri ramonda brings up the fact that she stood with killmonger in the first movie like yeah that's like, like it that was, was a, a good like, point i, I like, like that moment a lot well, actually, just like yeah. moments like that where they were they're respecting uh, the plot and dialogue, and they mm-hmm. respect the, the the intelligence of the audience. Like you haven't seen the first. It was one. a lot of connected. Like, connected like they talk about them. how her husband's in jail because yeah, mm-hmm. Daniel Kaluuya is in jail because he fucking yeah. was like. Fought I, know, I wish he was in this movie. That's my one. Maybe. Oh yeah, he was making Nope. Unfortunately, he had yeah. to choose between this or Nope, and he chose Nope. He, he chose right. Um, it, we we've, we have a Nope hater down there. I you know Nope nah. lover. Nope, nope, lover nope, right here. I'm a no, we, nope, nope, can agree on something. However, I I still think he made the right choice because even in the first movie, we agree. What do you mean? It's just on this movie, maybe not. He's only okay, I, I think I need to give it a rewatch, a and and I, I there don't hang around. There were parts I really, really liked, like the Okoye Okoye arc was 
was oh my good. god dude the okoye versus uh 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 atuma on the bridge yeah was so okay oh, yeah. Let, let, let's yeah we're yeah, talking about the connectivity down. let's yeah, like, yeah, get yeah, yeah. in the movie because in the movie i just want to say one of the like the biggest things that like shine its movie was the action for me like i yeah i think mcu action it's just i mean it's i don't think it's ever been like amazing compared to you know some other action sometimes movies. it hits sometimes it doesn't sometimes it hits sometimes it doesn't like all the action sequences in this movie like hit really hard even just the first like fight in the outreach center was yeah, just, with the like, french soldiers so great looks like yeah. Yeah. looked amazing and then like you said the bridge uh fight and and just the whole chase leading up to it with riri yeah yeah just like great, yeah i, I thought that yeah, uh, the chase was was the chase itself was all okay. the, all I, the I like the fight on the bridge the, the chase was okay i don't know I was, then like I, don't, I feel like i didn't feel like i feel like i like the chase in the first movie a lot better that's I a think, fair take I, mean, I yeah i don't hate that take i i, I don't like necessarily i feel like it. okoye kind of like they did a cooler i mean black panther like charles like running on the walls and like and uh, if you remember, and then like Koi had the whole car, and Shuri was tapped into it. I, I don't know. I feel like that was much cooler. No. One thing I, I, I thought, I thought Riri, so sure about is, Riri is kind of Ironheart flying around was like kind of silly. Murdering like ten cops. Yeah, I thought that was like, <laughs> like was just like her goofy. flying around in the in the suit she was in kind of looks kind of silly sometimes. I don't well, think it looks good. If we're, if we're gonna get into, into we'll get to criticism. My criticism criticisms at some point. Um, I did not like Ironheart very much. That's where like that's where this movie. I was I was fell off for me, but very I, I feel stuff. like she could have been taken yeah. out. I agree. But Let's talk about the her, good her stuff. Because like her, her, I like this whole movie. I don't really understand her inclusion because it's like, sure she's like the one who created the device, but it was like a school project that then got a hold of the then the government got an attention of it, and then they built their own, but somehow. Yeah, they, I agree because they're like we need her. her to make another one, but clearly they know and how they're making make another, another one. one and, I don't made it before. No, so. she made it at MIT, right? Yeah, and, and MIT being the school, which in the MCU, Tony Stark and Shield are like heavily invested in, and yeah, obviously yeah, Shield's yeah. gone now. But like they established that Civil in War, many yeah. other films, Civil War, and then, you know what 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 Tony's doing at MIT. So then the government, you know, took the design, used it, but she is still the only person who knows how to make it. They had one. Remember, they had one of these things. Well, I know. They I had get, no more. No. I only feel like they, but only once now it was made, hold on, hold they on. definitely Isn't could there people that know how to build it now because they did build it? No, they yeah. didn't build it. She built that. I know, but they had it. They, you could reverse engineer it. Yeah. I don't think they could. I think they were working on that. They could. Maybe. I don't know. And, and, it, it felt like a little were, bit of a plot convenience. But yeah, I was and it, but oh, I, I was confused. Did she, I, I can't remember actually now that I'm thinking about it. Was she aware that? No. No, she was not aware. That's what's like confusing i don't know i didn't really i don't know why that's confusing no it makes sense make a whole lot of sense why i don't it... i guess they just took it which is like how did how is she not aware of that because why so why she, would she be why would she it's her project yeah but she doesn't get to keep the fucking like well i feel like she, she would know where her i don't know i feel like she would know where her maybe the professor could up. be like we're sending it to like the you know, this know but she wasn't aware of that Okay, I know, well, but I'm saying he could have lied, and then the government just takes it. Well, then that's a whole other thing. That they didn't How is that a whole other thing? Know. To me, that like is very yeah, that, that part that, of that, that's it. That's like a weird total sense. Movie, I don't know. It's this, it's a the little CIA convoluted. did it's something little, nefarious. It's a little mm. convoluted. That I'm like, I don't okay. think that, I don't think I don't that, think that, like that I, I, I don't think it's convoluted. I think it just wastes time explaining it because it just makes sense. Like whatever. Like they got the machine that she built. I guess. They whatever they got the machine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> another another small criticism that dorm room come on man come on i've too been nice. to mit dorms before that That's is too nice nope not sorry mit room. you're not that nice um Come my, on, yeah, that's my, my huge. Dorms, that's, a, my, my dorms that's actually like a that. funny point. I forgot. No, about that. no, no, no way. That was huge. She had her own bathroom in a single. In a single, yeah. dorms like that exist. I those are tons and tons of those up here. Right, that where I'm at. Not that okay, well, that not big. That was a big yeah. dorm with a kitchen no. and a bathroom. She had no, a dorm that was like with a, a kitchen and a bathroom and a single. My guy. Yeah, I've been in those dorms. Those dorms not, exist. Not, not, not out here. I, mean, I, I have been, I've been to MIT, MIT dorms. I have not been to MIT. The school, the school that I go to has dorms that nice. Okay. Well, we certainly I, don't over here in the East Coast. Um, well, because the buildings, to be fair, it's because MIT is also like fucking ancient. The, the buildings that I'm I, okay, I, about I, like I'm not saying college dorms. Built like that. I'm saying MIT dorms. MIT, um, but that's what it is. It, it looks I mean, too just, nice for a college dorm. I was like, okay, guys, come on. 
I mean, it's, yeah. that's every movie. Uh, it, it's a dumb. To me, I was like, that's a, like a, an average looking college dorm. That's funny. <laughs> average? <laughs> Bro. We, we I gotta, know. You got to dig into this, man. I, I got I to show you guys after, after this recording the, 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 the dorms at my school. Matt, this is madness to me. I got to go. I gotta go to that's an go average there. dorm? Yeah, I'm like, that's typical. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Listen, man, I guess your, your dorm's kind of doggy do. I'm shocked that you think that's I don't know. I'm shocked form. too. But anyways, well, I, I mean, it's we'll... also in the future, and you know, there's all that Tony Stark money. Like it wasn't well, that crazy okay, to me. It's like what four he- four years ahead? No, I mean, how like far have we jumped ahead? No, because Endgame nine was years. already five years. Is it nine years now? Cause, yeah, because there's the five year yeah. jump that they incorporate, and then at least oh, uh, it's five years. And then there was a year at the beginning of this movie, and. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, nine may have been too much. Uh, it's more like seven, probably. So yeah. yeah. we're getting pretty far in. Anyway, to the future. But um, <laughs> they talk about they talk about. I just, Thanos, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> they talk about that Thanos' funny. attack and like how Nakia yeah. like leaves and loved and Nakia. Not... Nakia was so good in this movie. Nakia slapped. Not, yeah, well, Nakia, okay, well, well, let's, talk about Na- let's talk about Namor. All right. Villain. We should talk about a lot of things. We should. We should. If we should, we're gonna talk about this. We should talk like. Well, are we done? With, are we finishing with Ironheart? Because I'm like. Overall, I, I just like Iron. she didn't really. Well, this is what I'm gonna say. I, I don't really know like anything about the Ironheart uh, comics or like her character. Like I liked Ironheart. I know nothing. So I, I, I it just I feels was... to me like her character, and obviously, you know, it's so much like inspired by Tony. And what are we when she has her like yeah. suit up scene? Like you, you hear the Iron Man. She like, got an Iron Man suit. That's what yeah. the guy said. I love that. And it's like, you hear like that they give funny. the Iron Man, and it's like, man, why, like why aren't they, why didn't they do this when like Robert Downey was around? And I, I know they were sort of building their spider-man relationship there so well in the comics so she's a pretty recent invention in the comics like, as this protege past of Tony Stark. few years yeah but it, it, to my knowledge and please viewer correct I'll me if i'm wrong try to but, correct you but from I what i know but from what i've seen it's like origin. ai tony after yeah. death so it's helps. tony after he dies yeah, after he dies yeah. is who like that's where she gets. Her. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't, like, I, don't which, know. Which, I don't know how. Which could still happen. Just to me, he yeah. goes if you're to an Ironheart series. Riri, you're gonna need to have know. some Iron Man in there. I will say the Ironheart, uh, like suit from the show looks badass. The suit from the show looks sick. The suit I mean, I, the I, movie. I like the. I like yeah, the. Wakanda. I don't know. I like yeah, the, the suit too. like literally looked a little. It's it's too, very like, common. It, it's. I bought the Marvel closer Legends to the comics. Movie. You did. Yeah. I did because I liked it. I like. I bought a lot of Marvel Legends after I watched this movie. <laughs> you did? What'd like? you buy? I bought a couple things, you know. But but the it doesn't matter. We, we can. Oh, I'm curious. Black I bought, I, yeah, I bought all the Black Panther figures. I bought the whole know, wave. And not the whole wave. I'm gonna wait till like, for example, the I want Shuri Black Shuri. Panther suit because that suit was awesome. I love it. Badass. Uh, but I bought like the they they've been doing the um like the legacy runs mm-hmm. and because I just watched the first Black Panther I don't have any Black Panther figures. I'll so get. I have some that so I'm I bought, selling. Do you want I bought, mine? I bought T'Challa. And, well, I mean, it's, I already bought them, man. Okay. I, I bought. I mean, I, maybe I can. Anyways, I'm just trying to sell stuff. Mid, yeah, it's mid mid podcast trying to sell. Anyways, them. anyway, um, we can go back to it. So yeah, Iron Ironheart. Uh, I'm interested in her in her show. So I I wasn't. I liked it. I wasn't I like it. down on it. She's only in the movie for like maybe ten minutes, and so I thought it was a nice little like she's the scientist. Like they they're able to introduce a new character through a plot convenience, you know, like the scientist. I'm glad that it was like a new character that is actually going to go somewhere, you know, yeah. instead of just being like yeah. MacGuffin. Um, like, I like I liked her dynamic with Shuri. I, love, I liked I, her. I loved when she was in Talokan yeah, and how just out of the. You know, it was Shuri was very very good, good good dynamic. Thing. And and her being this young girl who's scientifically inclined, I needed that to really buy why Ramonda would risk her life for her. Like on top of just being a good person, I loved that Ramonda, like obviously saw her daughter in this girl and was also why she went for her, Mm -hmm. Um, which goddamn, because we know we've been sort of taking a weird path through this movie. The number one thing about this movie that I loved was that it took risks. It went for it. And I did not expect, anticipate how dark this movie would be. The whole movie is kind of dark and sad. sad It's just sad. That's why I call it the empire of the, uh, like oh my god when when you see oh, queen ramonda just like trilogy. face up face down yeah, that was awful i was like jesus christ <laughs> i'm gonna come in with do we nitpick think we here. needed that though yes we, we absolutely did. absolutely i'm gonna come in with a nitpick first like about two feet away from her when they were like down underwater there were those like spikes coming off the wall she yeah. just gone and spike grabbed it and like pulled up she could have like used her momentum to shoot to the top instead of like she was like slowly swimming Come on. Just in like a dress or whatever. Let's just be smart. I know, but she was was right there. I'm like, grab the thing. Grab the thing. 
It's not like she would like launch out of the air. No, that is how that works. Have you never done? Have you never been in a pool before and you've like grabbed the ladder and you can like like propel yeah, yourself? Yeah, but only so much. I see what you're saying. I get what you're saying. She's like it, carrying like 300 pounds of weight. It's not like, like a. <laughs> she's like a 60 year old. I know, but if it was coming down to a few seconds to save her life, then <laughs> it's a nitpick. But I will say, fantastic death overall. Like, that whole scene, saying, man. Yeah. Oh my like, god. Because I, I just I love when the queen is talking. I later it. on i mean earlier on about how she's like when shuri is gone she's like i've I've lost my entire family like i have no one now yeah and instead it ends that, up being that shuri moment was a little bit everyone. ruined for me because of the trailers why would that Wilson. why okay that's a, okay why would that moment why? being in the trailer ruin it is that it, i feel because i already i don't know i already like i didn't feel it as much because i like i guess i've seen it before i don't know it didn't hit as hard for me Okay. I think that's a, no, that's anyway, not a crazy so speaking, thing to speaking say. Anyway, but speaking of, but speaking okay. of, well, what? That's not a crazy like, thing to it's say. Not like a plot point was ruined. It's just like a performance. Like the performance is still good. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, it was. I, I, I think I just because I saw, saw it so many times, I was like, oh, okay, I already saw this. Anyway, anyways, the. I mean, I just want to talk about the opening of the movie. I mean, a cold open to Shuri praying to Bast, which I loved. I loved because Bast being, mm-hmm. you know, the god as established in the, the first Black god, Panther, yeah. um, and this this woman also in Thor: Love and Thunder, oddly. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the. Mm-hmm. You're right. Mm-hmm. Bass yeah. is canon confirmed. But Bass was just yeah. hanging well, out with Zeus. Yeah, kind of interesting. Well, no, no, no. I say Anyways. canon because not that, not that, I, because a plot of Shuri's character in the first one that carried into this one is clearly she's she's a woman of science and she doesn't necessarily believe in, in the religion. spiritual elements mm-hmm. about her culture, and mm-hmm. uh, that obviously played into a big a big part of this movie. It's why she saw Killmonger later on, which I. We can get into that, which I loved, Ooh, uh, which Johnny so did not like. Apparently, I don't know. I'm just mid on but, it. But the, just, but the, but but okay. It opens with that. The doors open. You're in the lab, and the the prince is dying. The king the king is dying. Like that shit was hard to watch. It was a long know, take. Yeah, that was. I mean, how how did that guy's hit you? And then and then cutting into the, you know, the the memorial. Uh, you know, yeah. I, mean, I wasn't sure how they was, were gonna handle. It was emotional. Know, is it just going to be he's already dead? You know, like, does he, like, does he get killed in combat? You know, how, how are you going to deal with this? And this is very much like a Rise of Skywalker situation that they were put into. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, with both Carrie, yeah. movies sort of went about it a different way because you know, she'd, she'd film some stuff. Um, but, you know, they could have right. put Chadwick in this movie. Like, with, like they could have done that. You know, they did it with Carrie. And they were. And they were they going were, to, and they, they changed it. I, I like, I that was, I I like that was this best. decision that they made. Um, and it was sad because he's dying of, you know, disease. You know, could, like, could have been cancer, you know? I know. So yeah. it's, it, it's, very, it's very sad. It's realistic. Like, they're not sort of beating around the bush. Like, yeah. It was but the fact that there was no, sad. even even in this opening, the way that it connects thematically and plot wise to the first movie, the fact that there's no herb because Killmonger burned it all. Like there wasn't some like they could have oh. written just like, oh, it grew back. Like it was been six I guess. years or whatever, seven years. No, they absolutely could have. That, like, that, that wasn't like a shocking thing. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, no, but I'm just saying this movie, it really respected what the first, like, you know. Yeah, well, we're, I think we're, as we're, a, we're Star Wars people, we always I think you're praising it. I mean, as it should. Interact with the other. I know, but not every movie, not every sequel does that. I mean, yeah, it's not like, like this, a given thing. It's not a given thing. This movie very easily, the original. I guess. I and feel like that was a... And, it could have grown back and, like, immediately they could have given and, it to Shuri. Exactly, and, and like, exactly. And it, could have been, and it could have been a whole different plot. And I don't think writing-wise, so. you could, you could said, discredit but that. She earns her right as passage to become the Panther through, like, her science. Because she's, like, that's that's always been... It is kind of funny her... that she 3D prints a plant, but that's, I'm not going to... Yeah, I know, but that's like the point. That, like, it, it's like that's more her relationship with her culture, of like she like less about growing the plant, and she's gonna use her skills to, like, yeah. it, it's her journey. It's I, it, I, I'm, it, I'm aware. It, 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 I just I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, what yeah, I, I'm I don't not know. saying I, I would do. I knew of something I would do differently, but I just I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really like particularly like that. I guess I don't know. Anyways, I don't. But. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a given. That a, that a that is a, a sequel builds off the original. I mean, look at the Thor movies. Like, look at look at like from yeah. no, from, no, you're right. I, I I guess I don't know. For me, I just like wasn't that wasn't very shocking. To me, to me, it's it's refreshing to get a movie that no, feels I mean, like a movie that is just fair. After point, I, I watched I just, after I watched the previous one the night before, it feels like I'm right back in that world. Especially like same it thing. being yeah. you know uh, 
phase four, like phase four, a phase four and production. the end of phase four, like this and movie very much could that, have been like all about the future of the MCU. And it was in a sense, but it, it never strayed too far from its. And on top of that, having to roots. deal with the really, tr- the real tragic loss of Chadwick Boseman, which not only mm-hmm. hurts like everyone involved in the film in an emotional real way, but also the plot, mm-hmm. like there's, there, there's, there wasn't going to be the plot of the yeah. movie. And so for them to make this in the way that they did, it, they make it seem like this awful tragedy actually it's just it's crazy it's crazy that to me this is incredibly impressive that this is the product because like yeah, right, yeah. rise of skywalker is a very different result in which i like some mm-hmm. of the beats with leia and that but i wish that i wish they had gone this route and like yeah uh, leia i, was I, I agree like like in terms it's a similar situation this was just hand like i'm a, you know as much as i will like dog on trust like i it definitely suffered because it carried because Fisher, carrie and, like, died like that is in, like, that I, I, they, I understand that so like, like, not everyone not everyone has the skill to write yeah, around so the fact that this movie was able to come out and be For like sure. an absolute banger of a movie like it's very impressive that they were able to overcome that like production obstacle yeah but well i i do think to an extent they i mean it's sad to say i think they kind of had that in mind because i think I, there was something that came out i think they were like planning the sequel and they were planning for an alternate story where chadwick wouldn't be involved because you know they were questioning if he would make it make it till then. no but no one knew almost but no one what do you knew mean that he that he had cancer that's one of the i'm pretty sure things. ryan knew well, ryan that's what i'm saying ryan cooler was like one of the few people who even was like aware at all but yeah like, but there's a huge think, team behind, like, if you, sure. you know, yeah. you, it's kind of hard to gear it around this thing where it's a big secret, you know? Like, if someone's real life personal secret, you can't be like, oh, yeah, yeah, Chadwick's dying. Can we not do this? Like, he couldn't say mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Um, no, I, 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 I don't, I don't think the sure. plan, like, they, Chadwick is such a incredible human being for mm-hmm. the fact that he was able to perform in all those films all those fighting films. cancer is insane to me. Pretty same. It, so, but it's also a testament to four him movies? as a person. Yeah, four movies. His impact on these other actors that they were able to deliver these mm-hmm. performances based off not only the, oh, it's called she, based off uh, of him. Letitia Wright is so good in this. She yeah, is so she good. It. She, she cares. Like, Shuri Angela Bassett as Queen Ramonda also insane performance kills it. Everyone kills it. She did deny Guerrero as Akoya. Everyone, everyone. Yeah, all the performances are like, great. It was. It was. It was like. I don't think there was a single, to me, I, there wasn't really a performance that missed. Tena, Tena Cuerta as as Namor, which we haven't really talked about yet. I loved him as a villain. Him yeah, we didn't talk Namor at all. Him and he and Killmonger are like both top tier MCU. This is a, and it's an MCU movie where the villain doesn't just fucking die at the end and like oh there goes yeah. all the potential of that build. It continues like he he continues as a character, yeah. which I love. I, I love that we get that. It's so refreshing. Of course, I saw that coming, but that's because I I know just Namor as a character. But well, I, yes. obviously, I know that. But in so many of these movies, like the, no, the I agree. I, uh, introduced and they're one and done. They're one and done. They're one and done. Yeah, I guess I wasn't as shocked, or kind of had more like this much of a re- revelation about certain things as as you did, maybe because I I kind of saw a lot of this coming. I, but well. it's not about like being make it less shocked good, by it. Yeah, it's it's not about, like appreci- like it's about appreciate it. Appreciate it. Although I mean that yeah. that they made. Sure. I, I don't know. Like, I thought just because maybe something like you saw in the trailer, it was like predictable in terms of comic book. Like, you still like can praise it for like making like, yeah. good decisions. And I don't know. Like, God, like, the connectivity like, to the first movie is fantastic. And like, I think it should be praised for that. I don't think it was big wolves. We expected that. So, and the way that this movie was shot, just the crap of it. Like, like the, yeah, take, take a scene. Like, the, 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 the introduction, the introduction of the Talicans, well, the, the Atlanteans in the comics of the siren call and everyone jumping off the ship. That like, was really good. Yeah. All that was so good. And it was the... predominantly shot. Well, there were just a couple of shots specifically that I believe were on blue screen. But, but, that but talk about like the terrible. MCU being dark. I mean, all those people just die. Like you just watch them kill themselves yeah. on yeah. screen and they're not hiding from it. And like, it's, it's, it's horror. It's scary. Like the whole side, yeah, like, that, 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 that was, a, the, the scene on the boat was really, really it was unsettling. You know dog on MCU CGI more than I did. Uh, and I, I did see this in a, in a really, really nice theater, like huge screen. And like, I, I don't know. I, I never at one point where I was like, that that looks bad. There uh, are a couple of backgrounds. That look- and, I agree, even I agree even for that, we were talking about okay. Quantum Mania. And I, yeah, they showed Quantum- the trailer for that. that before, lo- and, on, and on the screen, I was like, that looks fantastic. 
No, so, I saw a quantum intro. I'm, I'm uh, not with you there. I was on. No, I went. Okay, I know. I'm there, telling you, I'm. In, I was in a really good theater, so I think true. a good screen sure. makes these things. Yeah, work. I'm bringing. I'm bringing my. I'm bringing my Moon Knight got the best Marvel VFX uh, take back. I'm bringing it back. Bring it back. The logs rolling. I don't know. Best I never. <laughs> I never at any point in this movie where I was like, ooh, you know. I mean, there yeah, there's like some like mid-level moments, level but, stuff, but, but like, okay. compared to the last yeah. movie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, though. Yeah, talk about effects. The water effects, like those water grenades on the bridge, like the slow those motion. Okay, sick. and the way that the whole yeah. movie. Those are sick. So the whole film, right, they use slow motion a lot. And I went, or more so than the first one. And I was like, okay. More so than the first one, yeah. And I was like, interesting. Zack Snyder movie? Well, I, I had the thought of like, interesting. It wasn't interesting. that bad, but it was, it, no, it, it got it was, a little slow motion. No, no, no. I was like, I was like, interesting. They're using it. A little more than I would have expected. This is not mm-hmm. something I associate with Ryan Coogler. But sure. then the way that they brought it all back with all of it reversing in Shuri's mind as she realizes she cannot commit these two people, these two peoples to eternal war based off of her own personal vengeance Frustration, made, yeah. made yeah. all of that slow motion like it, it paid off. And in those moments and having that rewind moment and like it was so good. Like the everything, like the oh, I love this yeah, movie. The rewind was so awesome. The, the, that the hat, whole scene it all paid beach. off. Everything so paid off. Fantastic. Everything paid off to me. Um, well, I, oh, I, we'll talk about name. We haven't talked about Namor at all. I but I, I, it's just say to that point, like I, up in, I, I was like maybe a little mid on Namor, like up until that point of like sort of the because I was like, okay, like he's just gonna go and like kill everyone in Wakanda and on the surface world, like like why, like like what's his? I don't really understand his motivations, and then. It all makes perfect sense when you get that full rewind moment and you see like Wakanda and you see, I keep forgetting the name of the Talacan is what it's, it's Atlantis in the comics, but yeah, yeah Talacan is. but you, you know, you see, you see just like, you oh, know, man. they're like the people, like the, the, the citizens and, you know, when Shuri is just right waving at the people swimming yeah. around and like, you're, it, he's the same as Shuri where he's just like, he, he's, he's vengeance. Like he just wants revenge and he's, he's bl- he's blinded by it and i was like okay that makes sense like sure he's going through the exact same thing here god and, you know? when, and the fact that she sees killmonger when she takes the herb is so good. I so, know. and so originally about that. and so originally that was going to be chadwick they have they there's a digital deep fake that they made and they were trying to make that work and i'm glad they went this way uh, i got it it, yeah, it fits into the theme more it's so uh, much but yeah to, to bring to bring michael b jordan back for this scene and to play into the spiritual element of the Wakandan culture. And when you take that herb, I think it is a little bit of a retcon uh, because obviously they have to work around Chadwick's death um, that yeah. you only see one specific person. Because I think the way it was before is like you enter the plane, you see all the Panthers, yeah. right? Kill- and I, Killmonger. Uh, well, when... I think it's more like everyone's well, journey. No, is yeah, like well, no, 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 no. There's no, the no. family I tree. I take it back. I take it back. And you... I take it back. Because in the first one, mm. Killmonger goes to the apartment and he sees he sees his, his dad. dad. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, in my in my head, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about how Chadwick when he sees his father, it's like all the Panthers on the tree, and he seems like yeah. he's seeing he's seeing yeah. like everybody. Well, you know, I'm getting like Boba, like like yeah. Tuscan, like Free. frog vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where I think it's just like it's whatever what you, vision yeah. dream you're gonna have is gonna you know re- re- relate to. Well, it's like Shuri said, it's a construct your of your own mind. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's your own journey. So, like, to me, that makes sense. But, yeah. Like, no, it does. I, I take that back. Showing off, That's like, what I meant. So good. Like, absolute chills. And, like, yeah, of course, you know, everyone, everyone's sort of expecting the, the Queen or Chadwick. It's like, There's, this is going to be, your, you know, your classic, like, call to action. You know, you're going to get, like. But it's your, not. You know, oh, it's, it's so not. Good. Like, and it's like, oh, my. Like, it's just, you know, Killmonger, absolutely the best part of Black Panther. Probably top three, like, Marvel villain. For sure. Ever. Like. I think, For sure. I think we can all agree with it with that. Mm-hmm. Um, like the fact so just, that she's just on... to have him back and just it's like I don't know because pre-show Johnny was saying he thought this was unnecessary and I thought that this couldn't be more. Uh, I don't know, uh, not unnecessary. Like, it, I just like if this felt perfect. I mean, Johnny, sure. Johnny, the fact that in this movie so many characters are on the wrong path and like they true. just stick with it. They don't they like have like the That's they true. don't have like the switch movie which moment, I, which I think was which they I think deal with why... like the actual people dealing with grief like queen ramonda yeah. for a year is like you know she, yes she's defending her territory but she also stopped the outreach programs she also like stopped doing stuff and like yes the, the, the french they tried they try to break in and steal the vibranium bad and she's like on the defensive but at the same time like these people are dealing with grief in very different ways and almost all of them are like 
having some negative impact on the way they live their life and having For sure, yeah. them in these situations where like surely the almost the whole movie like it really hit me when when they're all loading up on the big boat and she's talking to Nakia. And she's just like, yeah, I'm, yeah. The key is like, you can't do this for vengeance. It'll kill you. She's like, like too late. I'm like, going. Yeah. And it's like, damn. Like, and then they kill yeah. people, man. People die. Like, people get murdered in this movie because yeah. of their feelings. And it is, to me, it is so vital that that Killmonger scene is there. Because th that's her headspace then. When she wakes up, dude. When she wakes up and is like, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Because she doesn't want it to be true. She doesn't want. Because she knows it worked. Cause she saw fucking Eric Killmonger. She saw Eric Stevens, but she wants to be like, no, I saw my mom. I saw, I saw, I saw my brother. She wants it to be different, but she knows in her heart and she punches like, just like, which is such a good callback. Just like in the first movie, when she plays the prank with the same exact Dora Milaje mannequin and, and Chadwick knocks back and they're laughing. She punches mm -hmm. that thing with all of her rage, man. And it throw, gets thrown across the room and you're like, damn, it, it, uh, I loved that. I loved everything about that. Yeah. I was, my favorite scene in the movie. It, it was a little jarring for me when I first watched it. Again, I need to, Give it a rewatch. I I don't know. I, I didn't love the moment, but I think I just again. I think I just need to watch it again. I was yeah, so absolutely I was so happy best part of the movie. Um, absolute oh. chills in the theater. Um, just fantastic idea. Bring them back. Works perfectly for the story there. Just like so great. And then like, I know he's dead, and I, I don't know. It, it's just kind of like a what if. Like I would have loved if he, he had a bigger part in this movie. Like not that it needed it, but if. You know, all the way back in the you know writing room, if they had gone a different direction somehow, more of just like a what if because I just love Killmonger so much. Not that I would change anything about what we got, but I'm glad that he was able to fit in in some way. Because in some way, yeah. you, you, you just yeah, you need him. Like he's he was the perfect like villain and to to T'Challa, and it just I don't it works so well here with like the journey that Shuri is going on. But then you, you know he, he makes like, such a good point of like yeah he was going about it the wrong way in Black Panther one, but he sparked the change, to like that all these outreach programs, the fact that they're helping people now, and he's like you wouldn't have helped you would have done this Ironheart thing. like if it weren't for me, and she's like he's right about that like like Killmonger's right, of course I you love know, Ian, I, yeah Go you know ahead. obviously like once again he's he's at the extreme end of things, and sure he sort of finds that balance within herself. But. And spe speaking of Killmonger, because I want to I want to shout out Ludwig as well. The absolute the scores on these two Black Panther movies are yep. easily by great. far and away Music was great. some of the best. The whole movie, even though I don't think it made an appearance, but in the first one, I love like when Killmonger like the da 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 na 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 na. Oh, it's so good. The whole oh, it's so like when they're dying when he's dying and he's looking at the Wakandan sunrise. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, God. no, that wasn't. It. Music but, is so good. But 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 good, but, but, good, but he good, good the way Ludwig plays on. The previous stuff and the the Dora Milaje, like the 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 high pitch like chanting and stuff. Oh, it's so good! Like it gets you going, man. It gets you going in the theater. And to talk about the action, which we sort of we said it was good, but we sort of skipped over specifics, like specific moments, man. Like when Shuri is when the Dora Milaje are hanging and the Jabari are like holding them and they're swinging back and forth and they're like throwing Shuri and you feel Shuri's like anger and rage. She just murders <laughs> these Talakans, like these people. She's just fucking mm -hmm. killing them, just stabbing them, like slitting their throats yeah. and stuff. Like it is just not only is it violent and brutal, but you it's you feel I felt like the tragedy of like and then here we go. Like the, these people are just killing each other. And for what? Like these are so good. I loved it. I love yeah, I, I feel like for me at at the end, it was like the I really thought they were going to like oh, man. I thought like. I, I thought everybody would be like more united. I guess I was just kind of like thrown back. I just just hearing it like explained from you guys. I don't know. Like, I, mean, I, they I think didn't I was even like taken aback by just like, they existed. like what? The Wakandans didn't even know that the Atlanteans existed. Yeah, I know. I, I just for me, I don't know. I, I feel like I would have liked to like have the Wakandans a little more like united. I just feel like everybody felt kind of so separate because like they cut between like three or four different like action scenes going on at once in the third act and i just i thought that was really like i think that was just too i mean much on the me. contrary i thought we like uh, saw know. like a really great uh, all the different like subcultures of wakanda like come we had like three or four like council scenes so, like we see them on the, and we have yeah. in baku at all like i, I love i loved him. i loved him in black panther one like fantastic yeah, in this too. movie he too. was kind of mid on in this uh, for me but he's gonna become yeah. king he's gonna be I, king. I disagree and, like, i think that's gonna be a great plot thread going into going forward the three because you know now there's going to be sort of like a you know some house of dragons like secession drama yeah. it's technically tatala jr 
as the rightful mm-hmm. king. You know, obviously Shuri, like, you know, gave M'Baku the blessing to go and become yeah. challenged yeah. for king. But, you know, does that change now that they know about T'Challa Jr.? And Yeah, I, I thought that was great. And, and then just, you know, the callback to that set piece of on that waterfall. Well, her, the movie... Oh, like, sorry, the ending, like her burning the funeral robes finally. After that was yeah, such a good scene. Like, that's so yeah, good. That and that scene, you feel the good. joy in, in her face when she sees T'Challa and she hears his name and like all that stuff is like the, 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 the emotional the last scene, The last scene in the movie and the mid-credits scene together. The emotional or, payoff. One scene, so yeah. good. Because Ben Farley, that's, earlier, like, sure, that's, you, that's the only, uh, I will be honest, which is, I don't, I don't want this to sound sad. This was, that was like the only like emotional beat that like really fuck, like really hit me. I was like, damn, this was like, that was really good. It hit me beginning when it hit me when Akoya was holding back Shuri as she was like trying to get to the dead, yeah, a mother's dead body floating in the water. That, <laughs> that, got too, that yeah, was good. I'd say ben, the, the, the emotions were hitting from the start because Ben Ben said it best, man. Ben, you, you you nailed it. Like you think in the trailer, if anything, that it's Queen Ramonda's lost everything, but the fact that it's, yeah. it's this movie is about how Shuri, Shuri just like lost. you know, chat you know, T'Challa lost his father, Shuri lost her mother, obviously her father and brother as well. Um, but in terms of like their, their the relationship there, and to see how oh, in the moment at the end when you're seeing all the flashes of Chadwick as T'Challa from the previous you know appearances, that got me emotional yeah. too. And she's yeah, like seeing absolutely. it, and she's got to make decision like, oh, it's so good. Yeah, and, 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 and you and I don't know, John. You said it like you don't think Shuri has an arc in this movie. Like she has like, oh, a crazy. Uh, arc. I don't know. I, she has a crazy arc. Like you like. Yeah. The movie, I mean, it ends, you know, completely mimics, like, obviously, you know, the scene with her and the queen, you know, out in the beach before Neymar first shows up, you know, and doing that yeah, ceremonial burning of the white robes, like, I don't know. I thought it was beautiful. I thought she had, a, like, an incredible arc, like, much better than the average Marvel character recently. You know? That's her. She know. wanted to burn down that. the whole world. And Neymar heard. Things, I think I just need to, like, re- re- rewatch a bit. I don't know. So you're sending less sure. I, I, I just wasn't in explaining. love with the like sure just progression throughout the story. I don't know. I thought I think it was, yeah. I, think I was expecting a little bit more. I think sure he's the go. Okay. She I just, I was impressed once again too with just the level of the commitment to darkness and violence in the film and making it a point about like making it a thematic point, not just an action point. Like when Nakia comes in and she is blasting the Talacans with that sonic gun looked cool mm-hmm. but also just like the death of that one guard and like how Shuri's like this is gonna mean war like you don't understand like they're gonna take this as an attack and she's like she's trying to save that one person and she even even this even this enemy she couldn't save her she couldn't save that mm-hmm. that guard she couldn't do anything just like she couldn't save her brother and like it that reinforces in that moment this idea that she can't save anyone and then further reinforcing why she sees Killmonger you know why it goes down that direction because yeah. the whole movie she's like I just trying to save She's just trying to save something, man. She wants to birth. She couldn't save Riri. She couldn't save like. It's so good. I, she couldn't yeah, save her I mean, mom. I mean, like this is Nakia like, was great. Uh, 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 Nakia, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, this is uh, like it's a, it's a dark Nikia. movie about dark. grief, about grief and how we like respond to it. I don't know. It's great. Yeah, I'm all about it. And all and all the characters, you know, are, respond to that that grief in a, in a different way. Just little 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 moments too. Like I loved. Going back to Riri, which I know you guys didn't like, but I get no. Some, I want. I want. It some of the shots, her role in the movie, and more like I think the delivery of some of the lines is just like. Oh, I loved her energy. I don't have any problem with that. It was a little for like, me. For me, it was her in the story. It, it, but it's it's not like it's not a big anyway. Deal. What for I was going to say her, is her inclusion. Just little stuff like some of the shots of these, these tracking shots of the suit like flying underwater. And like picking up like one mm-hmm. person in this in the skirmish and like dropping the the dormage back on the boat like into a fight like just the, like see, seeing people save other people and re- the, the whole dynamic of that whole fight I loved and the way that they like were gonna trap Namor to dehumidify him like it, it was all smart like it all made sense like he just we have to dry him out and yeah. the way that had to dry Riri, out, yeah. Riri was part of the plan and they incorporate like no I I didn't feel like any story beat went unused and that to yeah. me I also really appreciated that nothing everything it just it, it stayed consistent the whole time like everything felt yeah that i can felt that's like fair. worth watching like it wasn't like thor or even dr strange where there's some stuff that just because of this also though this movie's long is why it can do that this movie's almost three hours long. long yeah you know thor and, and doc strange are only like two um mm-hmm. 
this this it does this movie does like a lot more with extra four, like it's two like two forty four yeah this is a long movie um so with that extra time it also it, 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 it feels earned and it feels worthy when when the credits rolled i went i'm not only am i glad i watched that movie but that is just a solid movie like i could show anyone black panther one and black panther two and I'd be like look at these good movies you don't need to have seen the mcu to really understand them yeah. like oh, it's yeah, good absolutely. if you do but like they're just good films like oh damn yeah for sure <laughs> Gold yeah. suit, man. Shuri Bad dumping idea. into that gold suit at the council meeting. Yeah. Bad the new ass. Black Panther suit, awesome. awesome. The, awesome. the new, like, guard yeah. suit, though. Uh, um, the, the, the Midnight Angel. Yeah, it Midnight looks Angel. like Predator. A little bit. It looks like Predator. I didn't get, I didn't get Predator. I mean, I, I think you were saying because the, the, the back, the like, eyes dreads. And the, like, and, like, the, like, the dreads, sort of. I hated it. I hated it when they took the front faceplate off. That looks... That looks... Yeah, Marvel is this thing like ever, I think ever since the Infinity War, it like, is kind CGI-ing of CGI Mark Ruffalo's head up onto the like Hulkbuster yeah, suit, Hulk like I like something about yeah. the CG like, well, into the suits. They, they weren't, they weren't, they were practical suits though. I don't. It's true they were practical suits. They I, had yeah, that. I'm sure suit. at times, almost no, they were. Like when they had the mask off, that was practical. I don't. Know. I, I'm just talking in general for Ironheart too, like. Ironheart, sure, but but the Men and Angels, they were practical. I will say though, this is a very accurate design to the comics, so I will say that. I'll say oh, that. No. <laughs> I thought it looked goofy. I got. I, I agreed. I agreed with uh. With Koya, she with was like, she was like, that looks like garbage. Like, yeah, that looks bad. I'm like, yeah, you're, it does. You're, you're right. It's a little goofy. Yeah. I much prefer their like red outfits, but which I oh, I don't know this this. I can't really think of something I really didn't like. About no, neither can I. Like I, I've had criticisms and nitpicks, but all of it is like this is still like a, a very, very, very solid movie. I loved it. I, it's all like you know, I, I'll find stuff to pick apart, but at the end of the day, like it's a great movie. And I, I know Johnny was complaining about, it, but I personally liked the inclusion of Val. And I did too. Yeah, we haven't really talked. Yeah, story. we should get into that and maybe like her being like married to Ross. Like, whoa. Yeah, like, I, thought that was, I thought that was an interesting connection and like to I did tie too. it further in. Yeah. That's like a crazy, just like, I don't know, a little fun connection. And also, <laughs> I'll continue. Go I just said in the theater, uh, Bilbo and Elaine got married. It's Bilbo true. and Elaine got married. Bilbo yeah. and Elaine. I love it. No, Lord of the Rings. And I, I, I thought that was up. the most unnecessary plot of the entire film. I, uh, I can maybe uh, like understand that, but he is so integral in the first movie. Like he had to make an appearance. No, but I don't. I, I agree that he's in the first, but I don't see how that's like a compliment to how he was in the second because he was useless. Because he's an integral one. character. Like no, he he's, is there. Like there. You see what I'm saying though? Like he's like I feel world. like he's a very useless character. No, he is their link to the outside world, and specifically to the. He's their one friend in the U.S. government. I feel like again, yes, but take him out. I don't think the plot is that different. It's like, no, but they need him there because one... anytime Wakanda goes out, like w- w- a big part of the first movie is Wakanda opening up to the world. Yeah, and yeah. In this movie, but obviously. Now, but now it already has. Yeah. So what's the point of Ross? No, but it ha- but but it but it's, but it's but sort of US falling apart. Like in a, yeah. France, the UN is like against Wakanda. Yeah, because like, because in, in the past year since since T'Challa's death, that sort of idea is sort of falling apart. Falling and apart. like, yeah, okay. and like when I they go know, out, I still think they. Like previously, no one in Wakanda goes out except for the Dora Milaje and the Black right. Panther. No mm-hmm. one goes out. So anytime they need to go out, like the the, the war dogs, they talk they talk about the war dogs. Like Nikki is a war dog. Killmonger yeah. was a war dog. Uh, his dad was a war dog. Like that kind of the people who they send out to infiltrate these other countries at, at mm-hmm. times. And even then, that's like pretty hush hush. Like I don't know. To me, it, it all made sense. Like they need yeah, this absolutely. connection too. Like, like, like he's the character that you need for that to make sense. And then because he, I don't because, know, the, I kinda... because the government because his people the CIA is coming after Wakanda yeah. like you see in fucking in like in what if and stuff like they are Wakanda is I'm a not target. they are going I'm to... not necessarily arguing arguing that it's just like I I think they were well the point I was going to make to express like his the point I, I was going to make just didn't like is that scene. part of the story know. needed to be there they could have done it with another character but I think using Ross and using a connection to Val tying it into the already established like shady u.s government side of the mcu that we're establishing with u.s agent and the cia and all that stuff like why not just use it because that's like it yeah, exists exactly. in the mcu already like, and it makes sense yeah. to be there at the end yeah, of the day you know the movie you know, know. mcu movie is going to mcu like it's but it, it was it was done very well i mean maybe you disagree it was done very well, yeah. it, i don't it, think it was it, done very well is what my point is but okay 
I, I, I think it was, I don't know. You're like, I think you're like we've responded to your complaints. Like you say, you, you don't feel like he has a part, like a role to play. Yeah, I don't. Like, really I think, think he does. Know. Like I, I think okay. his his role is that he's he's necessary in the Wakandans, like going out into the world. I don't think he's very necessary. That's my point. So I don't. But we'll agree. To there had to be someone though. I just think there are better yeah, ways. It had to, to be show someone. It. it had to be someone. So you could in, go, go ahead and introduce a new character, or use the established character from the first movie. It's not even it's a no it's just, uh, for me. It more it's just I don't think he was very vital to the plot and was and take a scenes that I think it could have been the same movie. But here's a question. Here's a question that I ponder. That's just me. As I stare at at Johnny's Batman, the Batman poster. What was the best comic book movie this year? Because right now it's between Batman. Wakanda Forever and the Batman, and I don't Batman. know which one I would pick. Wakanda Forever is not. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a comic book movie. Um, the Batman is much more of a comic book movie. Best show about what's a better film that like is in the genre? I don't know. That's a crazy question. Best show? Just the thinking books. about it. I don't know. Batman is my favorite superhero of all time, so that's not really a fair question. This so, this movie. Just thinking about it because there's been there've been some really good comic book for movies. Me, for for me, the, the visuals the visuals on this no. are better than. What, 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 yeah. Sure. Well, sure. I'll, I'll definitely give you that. Um, yeah, sure. But I thought this movie was visually like very. I, I love the shot um, of, of when the Atlanteans, or I'm just gonna call it Atlanteans, first pull up on the bridge and they drop the like love water it. bomb. The water, bombs. Drop the water bombs. Such a cool. It's just like, in the slow mo of all them, like you know, Shuri, go, Shuri going off the bike and using her like shield yeah. thing, and oh, just, like, the whole that, notion, the whole awesome. build of Namor making this connection with Shuri. And his logic being, he, he he puts this effort into like talking to her, and that yeah. if he can't deal with the queen, I'll kill the queen and make you queen, like that. Like that being the the thought process. The... So it's very Game of Thrones. It's very like yeah. I made all like we understand each other. Your mom doesn't. I'm gonna kill your mom so you're in charge. Like that was like that's what he said. And the fact that Shuri not only didn't ever take the mantle of queen, but wanted to go her own path and do this other thing. Mm -hmm. Like there's so much. There's so much just thematic that i love and the, the way the plot goes into it and him just the way yeah the, the first attack on wakanda namor killing the queen all of that was just so that, yeah that tough to watch that whole it was so was so awesome mm -hmm. it was so awesome that first attack i loved it with all the water just like shooting up through you know all the like and i, I love it and... we already mm -hmm. mentioned it but when I, when I talked about how like no stone left unturned like the rivalry between okoye and atuma like the two like badass lieutenant characters constantly like they repeated it three times like they actually followed up on yeah that those was lines good... of dialogue and, and those, those rivalries and like those little stuff mm -hmm. and i liked it i don't know yeah. i thought it was <laughs> yeah, I liked listen it. i i i didn't hate it i was just i was just mid on it but again i've been mid on marvel overall i just i don't know a lot of lots of like with this movie lots of like namor killmonger is an easy one for me. Kill, for me, Killmonger. Killmonger. Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest. Like Namor didn't completely do it yeah. for me. Namor, like, definitely the best villain of Phase Four. Like to me, I mean, I guess Goblin. Ooh, but no, I don't Goblin. Really think, I, don't Goblin really I don't count that though. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't count I, them. I, uh, yeah, I, those are you guys, you guys. reasoning is a little. Those are established characters but... from other movies. Like, okay, but I think I might have him, to go Namor. Take him, take, hold on, take him out of, take him, I separate that. that. A lot. Him just as a villain in No Way Home. So good, but I, I, don't know. I, I agree, but it's, it's made villain, better. No matter by what, Spider Man it. one for me, it's made sure, but oh, uh, sure. But I'm saying if you can separate that, okay, if I can separate it, then villain. I would say maybe they're on. Point. We are who we choose to be, so I don't choose agree. I, I think he's, but like, I, I just have but villain, like it's no. hard for me to separate because I just have such a bias towards Will and Defoe and Goblin. So, like, yeah, fine, I'll say Goblin, but Namor, I actually, I think I, I think I disagree with that. I, I disagree with that Goblin take because I don't think Goblin is that good of a villain in No Way Home. Goblin is only a really good villain in that movie because of the, the way he tests. That's what I'm saying. That's I like, know, but, but, I but it only works that. because of his pre-established your understanding yeah, from yeah, Spider-Man one and say. two and three. Like okay, well, he that... in that movie, he's only in the movie for like ten minutes. Like he's not in it that long. Like in terms of like the beats, no, but the of ten where minutes he is, that he has are good. But I'm saying, I'm saying it only works. The plot. But it only saying, works because Spider-Man. So if you're saying what you're saying of just judging it based off of 
to no me, I, Johnny, yeah, yeah, Johnny, don't get me wrong. I love No Way Home, but that movie only works because it's a payoff to all this other stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, that movie is a payoff that's, that's movie. It is not a standalone movie. This is I what think, I was trying to say during me, the Marvel I think you can too. separate yeah. it. I think you can separate it. And I know, you can Goblin separate still, it. And Goblin if you still do, is, I think is, that Namor I think it falls below. I think Namor's yeah. better, yeah. I I love Goblin. Everything everything you did in the movie was so good. I do, too. I think it's good, too. I'm just saying, like, as as it stands alone, it's not. is great. It's not I know, but I'm saying, okay. I'm saying, for me. That standing alone, I think, is is right, better. I, I I gravitated towards more than Namor. I, as I as as I thought about it, Ben, you asked come on or yeah. Namor. I think I think I go. I think I personally would go Namor. Wow. Okay. Game. So that that's a take I I, I simply cannot get behind. Killmonger, think, dude, like, Killmonger is, next to Thanos is absolutely the best villain. Yeah, like he's too. he's he's number two. I think in my he's number two. Not, to Thanos. I am certainly not saying he is. He's he's one of the best easily. I'm not. I certainly yeah. would not uh, say otherwise. But in having watched both movies back to back, yeah, back to back, I know. I I think that in the plot, like in the the screen time, how it fits into the story, I think Namor fits in. Like he does, you do, you're able to, and it's because the movie is longer. But I'm able to, you're able to do more with Namor than you do with Killmonger. I still, Killmonger is still pretty. Uh, I don't know. This, is, this is a take it's, I'll it's give you. I think a lot of his development with Namor is to because Shuri of is better than Killmonger to T'Challa. The relationship between the two characters, how antagonist and protagonist, like how their stories intertwine, I would give that to Wakanda Forever. But just as mm-hmm. just as a villain. Mm-hmm. Uh, T'Challa, T'Challa and Killmonger as a rivalry? I think I think I mean, that Killmonger great, no, no, but... it's great, but I think I think Killmonger's motivations are all there, but in terms of the development, like having the the the, the revelation of T'Chaka having killed his father and all that stuff, like okay. a lot of it isn't I know, but a lot of it doesn't have to do with T'Challa himself and like there's a lot of it the I am not about, trying to about the lineage. Panther. I it's love that movie. Line. I know, I'm saying I love and I love every I'm saying it's different though. I'm saying the way that the character of Namor different, sure, but I think it's fully it's it's more it, I, it's I know, but as he, effective, he is more making, effective. But Namor is making more decisions about him for him, whereas Killmonger is making stuff based on revenge for his father, based off like this idea of like what Wakanda yeah, should but be. Namor, and, Namor is revengeful too. I know, but I'm saying Namor is still making all the like he feels more like an active participant in the story, whereas Killmonger, the whole movie feels pre like he will not I could, change. I could give I don't you think that, like he has maybe more no responsibilities. Point, no, but this but, guy, no, but at no point do I do I think during that movie that this guy is going to change. Whereas Namor has the the, uh, the ability not only to change to yield at the end, but also he's going to continue as a villain and developing as a character. Where Killmonger still like I'm not saying he's a bad villain at all. He is one of the best in the entire MCU. But because he is still a once and done villain, it still is that like I am a villain. I have died. Like that track know, is still there. I think Killmonger became uh, even better based on this like... movie. In the, in yeah, the, like, well, that's what Austria. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And he's I know, on I know, the I ancestral know. plane. Like, that's awesome. I, don't, like, I, 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 think I know, Ben. I had that too. Ben, I, had, like, I don't. I don't agree with. Agree, agree with. That. I, I think he was. I think there is like a lot to. A lot in the first movie. I don't know. I just. I like Killmonger. Yeah, but like, look at he's watched it most recently. <laughs> he's wow. I watched it two days ago. I guess. Yeah. I'm saying he doesn't. I'll, I'll, I remember I'll, the movie. I, I see what you're saying, though. Like, but I, I don't know if that necess- that's just like it's different types. Screen, of screen it's, presence, it's less- screen presence. Exactly. Killmonger exactly. has it. That just exactly. comes down to preference. Exactly, it is different. Yeah, it is different, different types. types I'm not saying so one. Is, yeah, I'm not like, saying one. What is, saying is yeah. right. Like, yeah, you don't have to agree with it, but he's yeah. right. So. I'm just yeah. All I'm trying to identify is that these are two different types of characters, and the one for sure. works for the movie it's in, and this one I think just works a little bit better. Like I like Wakanda Forever more than I do the original. Just a, like I I do. I like it really? a little more. Mm. I definitely like the first one better. And I think it's because the way I think Namor, they're pretty like, much equal on par, which is like that's how a uh, that's how a sequel should be. I'm really, like, I'm really sure. curious. I, I haven't I haven't really like taken a look on on like just people's opinions in, people in general. Are but I think people are liking. I've heard I've heard some mid mid. I don't think my opinion is not a very unique one, or maybe not. Maybe not that. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I don't. I don't put too much I've stock into similar. Rotten Tomatoes, but it's sitting at like an eighty-four critic and like a ninety-five audience, and like like Google has it about like eighty-eight percent enjoyed. I, Again, like I, I'm the yeah. as a seven. Not the best sources, but yes, I I, I get your saying. Can I, I mean, can I, give I know, more, but that give I you give... a larger sample size than going on Twitter. Sure, you're gonna Perfect. find people hating on it and people liking it. Can, you know? can I give Fair two enough. more two more uh, takes? Two more Absolutely. quick takes. I want to hear. I guess so. Uh, 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 first, first take. Having just watched the original Black Panther, the final fight in that movie is not nearly as bad as people say it is. 
I don't think it's that bad. Mm, no, I, I also think. just watched that scene specifically. The like CGI the, the is fight. so awful, oh, dude. It looks like a video game. Yeah, that's scene. tough. It's tough. No, in in the in the in like the field with the rhinos, I see what you're saying more. I'm talking about like the fight between. No, that's what I'm talking you, about. Yeah, when they're down in the like vibranium, vibranium like, train section. I mean, it's visually that's... not even interesting because they're just like no, I like black. It. Suits oh, no. up against the no. black that's, background. That's like notoriously oh, no, I, some of the worst I liked Marvel it. CGI. Yeah, I know, but I watched I it and it wasn't that bad. That. I know, I just watched it recently the, too. The CGI, it looks like a video game. Custom. I've seen that scene many times. I, 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 I watched that scene. I like, the enjoy flip. the fight, but it's definitely not. Dude, anyway, they, they rubber. All I said was not. You can't hold a candle I said, to Shuri versus Namor on the beach. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I said all I said is not as bad as I remember, but also my second take was gonna be that the Shuri and Namor fight is way better, like yeah, leagues better. better. And and that fight, the is fight really itself, sure. it's short and, that, and it's like visceral. But, like, and did she yeah, like but, rips his wing off with wing her claws? Yeah, that was, that was and when he picks when he picks up the spear and just runs it through her, like I know she, she she got to like move herself. Yeah, off. she didn't recover stuff. from that pretty quickly, but whatever. Well, yeah, she, she recovered. I mean, quite, mad about Riva getting stabbed. No, least, I know, I know. I'm not, gets caught, I'm not gonna, right. I'm not gonna give that as a complaint because that's been done much worse than others. It's a big products. year for, it's a big year for like stabs. I, I stab then, and, <laughs> she yeah. has two stomachs, guys. Yeah, yeah, right. Just um, like the Grand Inquisitor, which is yeah. I can't no, believe I, that I, her friend said that. That's a fair take. That's a fair take. So I, I like yeah. the name no, but like that that fight. I'm saying that front. I'm saying that second fight though, like we've gone the Wakanda Forever fight. Like that, that fight is what really puts Namor over the edge for me because the emotion in that fight hits way harder than I think. But then I, the, then the I'll CGI. counter you with like, that. All I was saying, the, all I was the, saying was that, all I was saying was the fight wasn't as bad in Black Panther one. But I'll, by the point that I'll I was counter trying to you make with, with the, the, the with the with the mountain top forever, scene, like way better. I don't know that. Oh, the emotion in Killmonger when he's no, I think the eyes, yield so scene. Good. I think I think the yield scene is just as strong. I think the yeah. yield scene. We don't want to commit our people no, to I, eternal I, I war. I can't give that one to you either. I don't know, man. I think Killmonger sitting up there looking at the sunset is like so probably like good. The top three scene in the MCU, like all, all across no, the board. No, I know it's good. It's a beautiful like, it's, monologue. It's, 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 it's amazing. And then you know, of course, like it culturally, final line, culturally yeah. very significant. His, um, his fucking yeah. final line: "Bury me in the sea with my ancestors who jumped from the ship." Yeah, because they knew the bondage, bondage. And, and it was worse. Here's, a, and it just, here's an he argument for Killmonger too. Here's Insane. an argument for Killmonger too. You can feel the effects of Killmonger in this movie too, which I think is really cool. I don't know. Lots of I just like. I just like. I just I, like Namor. Uh, fair enough. I mean, yeah, I think Killmonger's like arc was a little more like, like, mo- more uh, like based in. Like modern day sort of culture, I think a little more, a lot, like, lot stronger of a relevant. voice for a lot stronger of a voice for me than than what Namor yeah. was. But like Namor, I don't know. I don't want like, it's it's didn't, not like, didn't it's didn't not a Namor. dig on Namor. It's just Killmonger is just so he's un, he's yeah. unbeatable. Come on, and I'm excited to see Namor as a hero going forward because that's hero. That's I, I yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I still think he'll be gray area, but he'll be yeah, working with. Area. Anyways, all right. Um, I think, you had I think two I, takes. Those were the those two. The takes. two. The, my take was just that I didn't hate the Black Panther <laughs> fight as much people said, yeah. but the second take was about how like the Namor, um, the emotion in the Namor and Shuri fight hit landed for me during the fight, like during the actual fighting. The yeah, fight okay. itself, yeah, absolutely. 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 and that and that that and that. Oh, that I will say the Killmonger the emotion for me hit harder. Well, for his death, yes, but I'm saying yeah, the sure. fight itself. No, the absolutely whole, for the fight. Sure. Like, I don't know. Yeah, the the whole whole fight, they're, they're wearing the same like, suit and just. Yeah, there's like, no doubt in that. It's just not visually fun to look at. Oh, I will say though. Oh, that okay. But on oh, no, Killmonger versus the Dora Milaje, like the, when he's going against the four of them, yeah, that's with the two swords is so good. So good. That's incredible. So good. It's too like his two. His his fit. With the, I put it in the chat as soon as I watched it. But he like with the jacket, the open shirt. And yeah, the, it's so yeah, sick. so badass, dude. Oh, just he looks just so that, cool. and that like that. Uh, and you guys, guys, don't forget about Claw. Claw goaded. Also, Ulysses Claw in a great. Yeah, he's he's so good. performance. Yeah, he's like, so yeah. good. Oh, he's really good. I kind of hate how he just gets capped by Killmonger. I do but... hate it too because I I really wanted to yeah. see him in his in his like um. Yeah. It's robot form, sad. cyborg form, but. But. Anyways. Um, guys, how are we feeling? Should we do, do final like ratings here? Ratings, yeah, final ratings. Yeah, we can do a rating. Yeah, I, I well, I um, yeah, I guess yeah, out of, out of ten kind of thing or yeah, out of ten. Hmm. Also, we just did a Marvel tier list last week. We did to 
Black Panther. So we I don't can, have it. I up. can. I know. I, I can pull it, it, pull it up. It just we. I don't have. Okay. A, yeah. Let's pull it up and we'll add it to the list first okay. as we think about our ratings. Let's, One second. Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking too. It's tough. So yeah, I don't. I don't, again, I don't have the picture, for, but I'll. I'll uh, I, I think I got it. I think I got it. He says. I think, um, I, got I, think I got it. I got it. One second here. Okay, I'm gonna put it up. Uh, three, two, one. Whoa! Can you see it? There it is. See yeah, it? Okay, I, got overlay down. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Okay, this is good. Let's guys. I, I I like what we've done here. I, know, <laughs> I was I was I, I was proud. This is the way yeah. home should be down to be. I think. Sorry, but actually, this is a agree. lot. No, okay. I, I, Don't agree, but okay. There's a lot that I think is maybe not the best year, but I would advocate on this list. I can't believe Black Panther got put in bottom A. I couldn't. I, that take I think was was wrong. I mean, yeah, I know. I think sometimes we put too much stock into the order of like the tiers. Like I don't know. It, it's an A I, movie. It, it, I would. It, it, it could match up against any of the movies in A. So I think Wakanda Forever. No, but I know. Okay, but I was the one who brought that down, and and I I, I have since completely changed my mind on that. So oh really? We, Interesting. We, I said that in Jet the other day. So yeah. I, now, if you're asking me right now, after like, I did watch it a couple nights ago, I, I would, I would put this like top A, bottom S. So yeah, I, I think Wakanda Forever deserves a similar bottom S. That's my take on it. I, yeah, really I like, liked it. I like, I really like this movie. I, li- I think I, mm, yeah, I gotta, I gotta really. I think, think it should be it. very top. We're, yeah, but, well, yeah, we're, we're not. Hold on, we're not rehashing the yeah, list. Not, Let's talk about Wakanda yeah. Forever. Where would it fall on on your list, Johnny? Let's go. Can you guys go first? Okay, sure, absolutely. Um, as I was just saying about Black Panther one, like I think they're on par. So I'm gonna put this top, very top of A. And for me, I like it a little bit more than Ben. I would put this at the bottom of the S. I think what kind of forever deserves the the bump from A to S. Wow. I think I think it is that good. I so okay, so it's tough for me because I my immediate thought is is bottom A, but I like the first movie a lot better than the second so i guess they'd be next to each other you wouldn't, i'm sorry you just, i would rank you, yeah you're going bottom, bottom a my guy a? you have just spent the last hour and 60 i was minutes. mid on it Can mid a, is not a, a is not yeah but i'm C, looking okay but i'm looking i'm looking at our at the other projects in b and our b which are high and i and i like wakanda forever more than all of these oh actually there's some that i don't let me think hold on this is why i needed to think because there are some yeah, this this is not matching my opinion. So it's 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 hard for me. Do I put it where I, in my opinion, or do just, I put yeah, it? Just in, put it. How, forget about the list. Just put it where you think it is right now. I'd, I, 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 it's, it's a mid Marvel movie. It's a mid Marvel movie. Okay, for, then put it in me. C so or C. B. So yeah, C. C or B is in the mid. C. Wow. I, I could put a bottom B. I could put a bottom B. But again, the the ranking doesn't exactly match up. But a it's, rare, it's a bottom like, B. That's a, it's 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 I think it's rare. I, there's a lot to like about this movie. I just just there's certain things that didn't hit for me. That would put it like mid A then. I think Which, we gotta rewatch it. We gotta see it. Again. I think you gotta I, rewatch I'm, it. I'm right? I'm happy. I'm happy to rewatch. I said I'm. I said I've been saying that. Like this is the first one in a while. Oh, I say in a while. I don't know. I I, I take that back because they they pump out so much MCU content that it actually really hasn't been a while. But this is this is a movie yeah. that I'm really motivated to rewatch, and that doesn't yeah, always happen when I walk out of a, what a theater with with a Marvel film. Absolutely. Me too. Definitely the best film in Phase Four, hands down. Um, Phase Four is done. I, That's crazy. I gotta think about that about phase four just overall. So okay, so well, for me, next, my man. personal ranking, I, I knowing home I like better. But but that's just that's just me. Um yeah, I'd really have to think about overall the projects, like where this would rank in there. Again, overall I've been kind of mid on phase four, just like in general. So I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's give but our attitude. Definitely, definitely the definitely the top, top, top like grouping of phase four. Let's out of ten, out of ten, round the horn. You think about it, Johnny? Yeah, I mean, seven, seven and a half out of ten. I, I, I hope it'll go up again. I like came into this movie really wanting to like it, and after it, I really sat with it. I really wanted to like it. I just there were some things I, I don't okay, know. I I'll, didn't, didn't. What, hit what's your letterbox? What did you? I, I don't like. Uh, I don't know how your out of ten works, but a mid seven and a half is not mid. It is for, yeah. Yeah. Really for me that is, but I don't know. But mid, I, I guess, my rankings spot? are my rankings I, I, are. I know. I, in I, general. I'm just. I'm trying to understand how yours works because it, like, oh, it was like oh, it was like it was like a like a three star. So like a so like a so like a so like a six. Yes. Yeah. Mine was like three star. I gave it four and a half, which is a nine, and I had stick by that because I think 
I'm thinking I actually, like I just changed, I give it an eight walking out, like four out of five. In my head, I was like an eight five, but the more I think about how much I love, no, the I, don't, themes, I don't like the letterbox. Like, I know, I know, I'm, how, I'm more of a decimal guy. This is a nine oh for me. This is a nine oh because the more okay. I, the more the more I think about like yeah the way the whole the plot flows into the themes into the structure of the story, I love everything it did. Like it really, I think it landed. I think it hit all its marks. Um, so that's that's yeah, me. I that think, works I perfectly because this is a eight nine for me. So that's right, perfect. Because I think Levi likes it a smidge more than I do. A smidge more, yeah. This is a nine nine one so, nine oh kind of thing. And six. I'm still gonna stick on my seven five, even though my letterbox says differently. But right in my head, seven five right now. So understood. I mean, I, yeah, I think I think we should rewatch it though and revisit it on a future. I'm podcast. happy to do that, and I I plan to. Because I think I think a, a a podcast we should do or a discussion we should have is just a yeah recapping and uh reviewing phase four as a whole because the phase is mm. done now and that, yeah, that, that requires definitely. that requires a dedicated you know chunk to talk about what phase four has for done sure. for the mcu i think we should talk about it more on the wednesday stream too and uh yeah. and get some viewers on because i know some of the guys in our discord are all very up in this movie so yeah. i'm surprised I i'll be honest i'll be honest viewer uh, we, we there was some heat before this before the before the show that I thought was going to carry over into the podcast, and I don't I don't think like Johnny made a comment about that heart shaped herb thing that really like sent me, but I th- I don't think I, I think, think, I, think I, I still I still am not I still think it was a little goofy that she three D printed a plant, but that's just well me. that's different. You were like you were like uh, she said it didn't work and then she punches it, which means it does work, and I'm like well, it worked the whole time. She was in denial, dude. It wasn't. Yeah, that was, that was, was an like, awful. Take. Like that was such a weird take. Like that wasn't like. A, <laughs> I'm glad that take didn't make it, it in here. Like, I got gotta bring it up. I gotta bring it up because that 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 really was like that how was do you, like, you, how you were like you were like you were like I'm confused about it. Like it didn't work, but then it worked. You're like what? I don't know, man. The, the whole thing is that it worked, but it didn't work in the way she wanted to because she saw fucking Eric Killmonger. She saw Eric Stevens, the villain of the last movie. Like that is such a good like. It's <gasps> it's great. It's fantastic. It's a good movie. It's an eight nine out of ten for me. Uh, I don't know. What more can I say? I want to see it again. Yeah, I want to see it again. And Marvel like ending Phase Four in a bang, and I'm very happy about that. Like I feel like I'm very excited going forward. Now, like, this movie I, made I haven't 180 million dollars this weekend, so I think it was in fact a bang. Almost I already been excited. The like, entire very total for Marvel of Black Adam. So. Right, Black Adam. Shout out, shout out to the Rock. Shout out to the Rock. Um, and I know I, I can't wait for Quantum Mania, guys. Whatever, <laughs> sue me. We'll see. We'll I'm see. I'm very excited. King, I love Ant Man. I got potential here. I think I think there's potential. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching our uh, you know, li- you know, ten minutes of random podcasting and then an hour long uh, Wakanda Forever review. Yeah, we didn't even talk about you know, the new um, freaking Star Wars movie or you know. Nothing there's like a lot that. to talk about, but I, I think Wakanda Forever deserved deserved the. Start no, absolutely deserved, deserved the, the dialogue. Yeah, sure. And uh, um, news is there. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get mm-hmm. to it. Okay. Yeah, and and that Star Wars movie won't be coming out for at least like five years. So yeah. we'll we'll have we'll have, <laughs> we'll have, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have time to talk about it. Also, uh, I didn't say it. Didn't say it on the um the stream on that we did on wednesday for andor but that day was our second two-year anniversary two year of the channel True. it was pretty crazy you need to mention it in the beginning of this video yeah which we should have too uh, crazy so out. i i wish i yeah i wish i said in the beginning at the top of the show but um if you've made it this long i'd imagine you're a long time viewer so thank you everybody um it means a lot two years it's pretty pretty crazy We've done a lot, so it's been it's been fun. And, and we know thanks, it's been thanks for everybody who's, who's watch, who watches. It's been audier this year since the since the summer, but we've just been busy. We've all Very been busy. busy. Johnny, Very we're busy. all cool. But all doing never, stuff. never the, the channel the channel lives on, or but you know. So Absolutely. thank you everybody for for uh, for sticking by. Just sticking and, around. Um, yeah. Rest in and, peace, um, Kevin Conroy. Rest in rest peace, peace, Chad with Bozeman. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I'm feeling, man. Feeling that a little extra today. Yeah. Yeah. And just yeah. I don't know. Say what you will about this movie. Two, two, as, two, as a tribute, two goats. As a tribute, you know. To Chadwick. Nearly Chadwick, perfect. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. All right, guys. We will see you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.